Okay, hello. Two, um, two things. My plecos are sick. They are bloated. They are constipated. I know, ew. But, um, if you pay attention to your fish, like I've said before, you notice behavior changes. And my bristle nose has become rather, um, subdued, listless. Not very active at all, and then I noticed he's very bloated and not pooping. Plecos poop almost constantly, and when he stops, I know there's something wrong. Um, so I've got spinach, zucchini, and a potato in there. Uh, cucumber's really popular, but I need something a little higher fiber than cucumber to help uh, him move uh, everything out. Um, he's young, he's, he was rather healthy, so hopefully he'll push through this. Um, with the new tank, that's on order, it's on back order. Um, it might ship tomorrow or the next day, um, and after it ships it'll take about five days to get here. And what is going on, I'm going to be using Eco Complete Gravel in the bottom, which is a plant... Um, safe gravel it's made for plants and it comes in a fluid that has beneficial bacteria and some minerals and everything in it then I'm going to be using 10 gallons of water out of here and then balance the rest it's a 12 gallon tank so it's going to need a little bit of balance in there and then the Hagen aqua clear um, is a similar setup to the C4 um, it's going to be the Hagen mini or the aqua clear mini that's going to be on there and uh, I'm going to be taking the biomedia out of here, popping it in the other tank. And, you know, guys, I love this filter. I really do. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but I've saved money on not having to buy much stuff for it. Um, a lot of stuff you can reuse. There's the biomedia in this drip tray. Um, I have taken out all of the chemical filtration and replaced it with biomedia in there. Um, focusing on biological filtration because I think it's a lot more stable than the chemical filtration. Unless you need chemical filtration on your tank, I'm starting to think that you really shouldn't have it on there. So that is... Uh, that's what's going to be happening pretty soon. I am going to document uh, everything I do on the new tank. So you'll be able to see um, me uh, fail and win and eventually have a very nice tank. I know I'm going to screw up a couple times, but you know that's part of the fun of doing this. If it was really easy, um, it wouldn't be as much fun. This is going to be a challenge.